Hey Lenormand lovers, it's Lacey Young Sutton with another video for you and today is part one of a series of videos on directional cues. Now most readers are familiar with the concept of direction with the clouds card and the scythe. Okay, now the scythe it's pretty clear where that blade is pointing and the clouds in most decks, all traditional decks, and most decks will have a dark side and a light side. A lot of modern decks don't. If yours does not and you want to use a directional cue, just assign it before you lay the cards, okay? As, just tell yourself, write it down, always stick to it that the dark side is on the left and the clearing side is on the right or vice versa, okay? And then many readers will also read the uh, fox directionally and just as the same thing for what I just said about the clouds if he's facing forward doesn't have an obvious direction just assign one uh, for me even though his face is kind of facing right his whole body is facing left so this is a left facing fox for me just know your deck before you use it and a lot of people also will assign uh, directional cues to the mice um, but there are a whole lot more. In fact, there are 20. There are 20 cards with directional cues. In fact, if you add 28 and 29, the people cards, there are 22. So that's why I'm going to break these into uh, sections. So today um, I'm gonna give you the first four. We're gonna look at the rider, the ship, the clouds, and the snake. Okay, so there's also going to be an accompanying blog that goes with these videos that will have everything I'm talking about and the examples and it will be done hopefully tomorrow or the next day and I will link it in the description box below all of the videos. Oh, I'll tell you at the end why I have that magazine sitting there. Okay, now you will find all of the directional cues in my book. There is one that is a mistake that, um, well, it's a it's more than a typo, really. It was kind of a miscommunication with my editor, but that will be fixed in the next printing. And for now, you will have the correct information in today's video, and it will be in the blog, and I will point it out. Um, actually, even even the clouds, like it says, the light side is lightning. It should say lightening, but I can't really blame my editor for that one because you can use you can use lightning for both meanings, but. You know, if you want, just cross that output is clearing. The light side is clearing and becoming more positive. That's what the next printing will say. Clearing is clearer. <laughs> okay. Now, this is my, uh, did I say it already? These are my Thelema cards. My Thelema. Okay. Let's start with the rider. Okay. And I, now the process, let me mention the process here because um, I still read, I will still read my spreads from left to right. I always read left to right. Doesn't matter where the person is facing um, or any of my directional cards. I treat the people just like I'm treating these cards. I take note of what they are facing, but I, um, and you know, so if they're here, I'll show you with my Anna Kay rider. I pulled that one out, my Anna Kay. So you can see the rider is facing the other way. This is a better example. All right, so if, if this were part of a spread, I would still be reading the spread from left to right, but the energy of this card is heading the other way. So the whole interpretation is left to right, but I will, um, the directional cue will be wherever this is facing. Okay, I think I said that clearly. Hope I did. Okay, rider. All right, so. The rider is always bringing something to the seeker. Whatever it faces is what it is bringing. It is not bringing something to this card. It is bringing this card to the seeker. The, the meaning of this card is arrivals, visitors, news coming, packages, whatever. But it's always coming to the seeker, okay? So don't get confused if you are reading for a woman and the partner card shows up here, that doesn't mean that some news is coming to the partner. That means some news is coming about the partner or the partner herself is, is going to visit the seeker, okay? 
All right, so what if the rider is facing the letter? Well, that's pretty clear. <laughs> the rider's bringing news, right? But this is, uh, the rider is already bringing news. So I would say this is more like um, it's bringing something on paper, something in writing, something official, some confirmation, evidence, right? Or it could just be, um, you know, words are coming to you. you uh, okay, I don't want to get too off the subject. All right, so what if the rider is facing the ring? Now, what is coming to the seeker? Some kind of a merger, a union, a contract, um, an obligation, a proposal, a meeting. Okay, you're going to be having a meeting, something. Okay, um, the book here, this is a good example. Now the writer is bringing a secret, but that doesn't mean that this secret is being revealed. The writer is not revealing the secret. The writer is bringing a secret or the knowledge of a secret or the knowledge of something unknown to the, to the seeker. The, the seeker is going to find out, right, feedback, writers bringing feedback or information that, the, that you don't know something, that you need to do more research, you need more knowledge, you need more education, but there's something you don't know. That's what the writer is bringing here, okay? Where's the ship? Come here, ship. All right, the ship. The ship faces the next step on the journey or what you should be paying attention to. It tells you what lies ahead for you or what actions or thoughts will serve you well. So if the rider were facing the heart and the key, we could say that the next step on this person's journey will be an important romance maybe or the next step on their journey is that they should open their heart. Okay. What if the ship is facing the garden? Well, in this case, it could say you just, the next step on your journey will be to go to a party or even have a party or to get out of the house, to mingle, to socialize, to network, to expand your world, right? To just to expand. Okay. Now let's look at the clouds. Now the clouds being one of the most troubling cards of the deck actually affects every card it touches. So picture a box around this card. It's going to have a negative impact on every single card. Don't let this light side confuse you. And um, there are a lot of um, translations and um, a lot of the older decks that have the messages right on the cards. You'll see something about luck. For the, for the light side. And I do mention this in my book. It doesn't mean that this, the card on this side is lucky. This is not the clover, it's the clouds. It means that it's lucky it's not on the other side. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what it means. So um, you, can, you can look at the light side as the card over here is going to receive less trouble than if it were over here, um, less severe troubles or sh uh, troubles of shorter duration because it's clearing, okay? Um, all right, so where's that ship? This is a classic one, right? The ship is heading into stormy weather. So this is going to be, you know, stormy weather on your journey, um, on your trip, on your vacation, um, on your commute to work, right? This is also for, for cars the card for cars <laughs> on this side it's still it's still getting some you have two directional cards here right so if this were facing nothing that that one's out of play but you still have this as a directional card so this is still receiving less severe troubles less severe weather less uh, lightning it's going to hit some bad weather but it'll clear up right away that kind of thing or or troubles that won't last long and won't be as bad as if it were over here okay now let's look at the snake. Ooh, Mr. Snake. Ooh, I just made it a male. <laughs> Even though it's got that queen of clubs, everybody looks at this as a female card. I just made it a male. <laughs> Mr. Snake. All right, now this is where there is a boo-boo in my book that will, be, that will be fixed with the next printing. I'm going to point it out right now, but you're going to have the information today, and it will be in the, in the blog. Okay, so... Where does it say? Oh, here. It says, in my book, it says, 
The card the snake is facing shows from where the betrayal comes. Now, my editor and I, I know we went back and forth with that. We couldn't get the wording right, and somehow it still came out wrong. <laughs> but, you know, we're humans. Okay, so what it should have said is the card the snake faces shows where the betrayal is directed. Okay? Now, the next printing will contain the revision, and it will say the snake faces the card receiving the betrayal or complications. I think that's much clearer. All right, so let's give you some examples here. Wait, where, all right. If the snake is facing the ways or the crossroads or the paths, whatever you call that card, we could say, among many things, we could say that there will be a detour on your path, uh, a treacherous way, um, a twisted and complex decision. This decision that you're thinking about or this, uh, you know, choice you're about to make is you, you could be deceiving yourself or um, someone is deceiving you about your options, your alternatives. Okay. What if the snake is facing the lily? This is a good one because this could certainly show infidelity if we're talking about a relationship. This is the card of um, relationship harmony, right? Um, it's also many people's uh, sex card. All right, but this could say um, a roundabout and complex way of finding peace. This could say problems with your retirement. Um, yeah, okay, so what if the, here's, here's a good one. What if the snake is facing the mountain? Here, we could just say that challenges, the challenges that the mountain is bringing just got harder, right? Because it's like negative, negative, right? Um, a dangerous enemy, the, an enemy attacks, um, because this is the enemy card. This, is, this card is attacking, right? Um, it could be difficulties in uh, overcoming your obstacles. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop there for today. And, oh, my magazine, yeah. This is why I, this is why I had the magazine out. Yes, this is the current issue, issue number five of Esoterical Magazine. And if you look in here, if you get this magazine, I hope you do, you will find my article. Some good stuff in here. I highly recommend that all of you get it and read it. Okay, so this is, uh, where's the website? I think it's just esoterical.com or anyway I'm gonna link it in the description box below the video okay so that's it for today my friends stay tuned for uh, I was gonna say issue number two <laughs> video number two in this series and the blog should be done within the next couple days and for now go play with your cards bye everybody